So you're thinking about moving to Woodbridge, Virginia, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about the area before you decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. We're actually gonna jump into my computer so that I can take you around on Google Maps and show you everything you need to know about living in Woodbridge, Virginia. We're gonna show you proximity to both the local airports, we'll show you proximity to Metro, and we'll give you an idea of what shopping and dining options there are in Woodbridge, Virginia. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stick around because we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. My name's Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, send us a message on social, whatever works for you, we've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. So as I mentioned, we are going to be cruising around Woodbridge via Google Maps today. And first up on our list is, let's see how long it takes to get from Woodbridge in to Washington, DC, in case that's where you're going to be working. Right now, you're looking at about 35 minutes but we got to keep in mind that while I am filming this, it's not peak commute time. So on a day where you're headed in during rush hour, you are looking at about an hour commute, possibly a little bit longer, just depending on what traffic is like on 95 and then on 395 going into the city. Let's also look into Arlington because that's another big employment hub in our area, about 30 minutes you're looking at closer to 45 to an hour, um, just depending on traffic, if you're going to be commuting during peak times. And let's also check out Woodbridge to Tyson's Corner. Right now, about 25 minutes. It's just shy of 22 miles, of course, depending on where you're living in Woodbridge. Um, you're probably looking at closer to about 45 minutes if you're going to be commuting into Tyson's Corner. Let's also look at Metro. The closest Metro station to Woodbridge is Franconia Springfield, and that's about 20 minutes. It's really going to be closer to 30 to 40 minutes, just depending on what time you're commuting. But if you are interested in taking Metro and have an off-peak commute, it's really not too bad to get to the station about 20 minutes. And then let's also check out if you're going to be using the local airports. We'll start with Reagan Airport, and that's going to put you at probably about 30 minutes, roughly. Um, not much traffic right now. You're, I would say, looking at probably closer to 45 minutes if you're going to be commuting during traffic. And then let's also check out Dulles. Um, quite a bit further away from Woodbridge, but it is an option um, because there are more international flights there. So depending on which airport you're going out of, you may be using Dulles as well. It's about 35 miles away and you're looking at about 36 minutes. Um, again, just depending on traffic. The good thing if you're headed out to Dulles and uh, you can jump on the toll road and there's no charge if you're headed to the airport, if somebody's gonna be dropping you off you know, friend, family member not taking an Uber. You can also let them know that they can take the toll lanes headed back down to Woodbridge um, on the Dulles Toll Road and not be charged as well. All right, so we can't talk about Woodbridge without checking in on Potomac Mills Mall. That's where I'm gonna start our cruise around the area. And we feature Potomac Mills in our vlog as well. So if you haven't checked that out, be sure to do so. Woodbridge has so many shopping and dining options that we certainly won't cover them all, but just want to give you an idea of the lay of the land here. Potomac Mills has a Bloomingdale's outlet. You have Sam's Club there. You have Bahama Breeze if you want to grab a bite to eat or happy hour. You have the Lego store. You have the North Face outlet. Nearby the mall, um, let me get my marker out here. 
You also have the movie theater at Potomac Mills. If you're looking to take in a show, you have PJ Maxx. There are churches and gas stations. You have storage facility. Dick Sporting Goods is also close by. And I'm gonna come up here because there are even more restaurants and businesses to check out. You have Best Buy, you have Five Guys. You get your Starbucks if you enjoy a Starbucks coffee. Mission Barbecue, they are extremely popular in our area. I'm sure probably other areas too. Um, but if you want to get some good barbecue, definitely check out Mission. You have Bumbleos, you have El Paso Mexican. Up here, you have Chick-fil-A, you have Michael's if you're looking for some crafts to get into. You have Target, um, there are hotels as well. Maybe you have family that'll be coming into town to visit you if you live in Woodbridge. Definitely no problem, plenty of space nearby if you don't have space to put them up in your home. There's also Smoky Bones Barbecue here. I've personally never eaten there, but I've heard great things about it. Very popular in the area. Chewy's Mexican, you have Carmax. We're gonna come over here and work our way to the west. If you are coming down PW Parkway here, you also have plenty of other options where it intersects at Smoketown, Smoketown Road. PW Parkway is a main thoroughfare through Woodbridge and gives you access to a lot of the shopping and dining options. You have Home Depot if you need anything for your home. This is an excellent Home Depot, plenty of parking as well, easy to get in and out of. This is one of the few fun ruckers left in our area. Amazing burgers, I don't know what happened. They used to be pretty much all over Northern Virginia, but this is one of the few left and they really do have great burgers. You have a Lowe's if you prefer that over Home Depot. The options go on and on. If you're living in Woodbridge, you will absolutely be nearby to shopping and dining. Most likely you will have to drive to it. But we aren't talking very far, anywhere from five to 15 minutes, just depending on where you live. Also, I want to show you the Occoquan area if you would like to enjoy the Potomac River. Occoquan is a great area to check out. I'm not going to go too deep into what Occoquan has to offer because we do have a vlog coming out on that area. But Occoquan is right next to Woodbridge um, on the Lake Ridge side. So if you are interested in checking out the river, you're right there. And I also want to show you the Asco Regional Park. Great place to go walk and explore the outdoors. It has 300 acres, so no shortage of area to explore there. There is actually a boardwalk that comes out here, so you can enjoy that and then walk out and it connects to um, a wetlands preserve. And you also have the Ripon Lodge historic site, Ripon Landing, uh, Potomac Heritage National Scenic Trail. You can see here, it will connect you to these trailheads and then there's parking as well, depending on which side you want to come in on. So you can definitely enjoy um, beautiful scenery, lots of nature there. It's just a great place to get out and walk if that's something that you're interested in. Something else I want to point out is the Prince William Ice Center. This is closer to Dale City, which is a neighborhood within the Woodbridge area. And the Prince William Ice Center is always busy if you want to get some ice skating on or ice hockey, anything like that. They offer a lot of different programs, so it's worth checking that out. And then also want to point out, it's closed right now because it's winter time, but Butterworks Water Park is also off of Dale Boulevard. Fun place to go take the kids during the summertime when they're open. If you enjoy water parks, this is a great place to go. They've got a snack bar um, playground as well. And then there's some sports fields at this park. Let me see, Andrew Leach Park right here. These, this area, it's the same area. Waterworks is within Andrew Leach Baseball Field. So it's a nice park to visit if you'd like. And then one last thing. Then last up is Stonebridge at Potomac Town Center. This shopping center certainly isn't brand new by any means, but it is one of the newer centers in the area. 
Um, a lot of great restaurants there and you can stroll around and do some shopping if that's something that you're interested in. It is right next to the Wegmans, which is extremely popular, whether it's the Woodbridge Wegmans or Wegmans in general. Um, in Northern Virginia, that is a very popular grocery store. And then the shopping center itself has Kava, you have a jewelry store, you have sushi. Um, they do have charging stations for electric vehicles, which is always nice. You have a pet store, there's Uncle Julio's, let me scroll down. There's a UPS store. There's a PF Chang's. There's Bar Louie. You have lots of options here, um, mainly for dining, but there is shopping too. You have Ulta. You keep coming down the row. This is the main drag through the center, and they've got spacious sidewalks on either side, so you can stroll along as you're doing your shopping. You have DSW. Here's the Ulta. You have Barnes and Nobles. Nando's Perry Perry, their chicken is excellent. You've got Hot Belly, another Starbucks in case that's your thing. And I'll keep strolling down here. You have Navy Federal Credit Union, the Xfinity Store, Duck Donuts, another very popular one in this area. You have your Apple Store, a Waxiner, Firebirds, they have delicious steak there, not your average Joe's. Um, they've got a big variety on their menu, something for everybody. Korean barbecue, frozen custard, Alamo Draft House, keep coming down here. Old Navy, REI. Needless to say, plenty of options for shopping and dining, which is true for all of Woodbridge in general. Um, same thing for outdoor activities. Woodbridge has no shortage of those. And that really about wraps it up for the Woodbridge area. Woodbridge is home to 41,517 people. It has a median home value of $454,749 and a median income of $76,000. $846. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.